Hi, Psych2Go Army. We have an urgent favor needed. Watch till the end to hear about it. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it takes two to tango. But what happens when your partner can't keep up with your rhythm? When the music comes to a stop, so does the love. It wasn't always like this, you tell yourself. But how do you know whether the feeling is temporary or if your love interest has already stopped trying? Here are eight signs your love is one-sided. One, it's been so long since the last time you've been happy. A relationship is not a fairy tale, and we've heard the common saying that every relationship takes work. But when you're in a one-sided relationship, it's more work than you deserve. Research suggests the more you laugh, the more it can relieve tension between both parties. Psychologists also discovered that achieving emotional regulation is important for duos to feel satisfied. Emotional regulation is the ability to respond to a situation with emotions that are appropriate and good for your well-being. But if your love interest focuses more on negativity instead of making room to look on the bright side, it brings the whole relationship down. Two, your love interest stonewalls you. Do you ever feel yourself getting all worked up, but your person of interest walks away before a fight even starts? That is called stonewalling. Therapist John Gottman says that blocking off conversation can be just as toxic for a relationship as contempt because it keeps partners from addressing an underlying issue. When someone shuts you out, they also turn down a chance to work things out together. Three, your love interest frequently plays the victim card and you're tired of it. Do you face the opposite problem and deal with a person's defensive nature? Gottman says that it's dangerous for one individual to play the victim all the time. It means they avoid taking responsibility for their actions, so if you're the one always apologizing, it allows them to get away with their faults. 4. Your partner is all play but no sacrifice Relationship scientists have discovered that making sacrifices is one of the many strategies people use to avoid conflict. But there has to be a balance achieved. If you're always the one bending your back and making the compromises, it leaves little to no room for you to receive the same benefits from your partner. 5. Your partner doesn't respect your boundaries Although it's nice to learn how to grow from using I and me statements to we, it's never good to assume what the other person wants. If your partner is making decisions for you without your consent, they are overstepping your boundaries. Dr. Lisa Firestone states that when this happens, it not only hurts you, but it undermines your strength and feelings for your partner. 6. You constantly justify their actions to your friends and family. Did you recently make up another lame excuse just to cover for them? However, your friends and family are not so easily fooled. That's the perk of being outside of a relationship. Outsiders can see things you and your partner overlook. You might get used to your partner canceling plans last minute, but your friends find it odd that they rarely make a presence. Although it's common to ditch friends to spend more time with your partner once you enter a relationship, staying in touch with them can actually bring perspectives you miss. 7. They rarely return your favors or share their secrets with you. If they stop being kind to you, that's a big warning that the relationship is going downhill. Another key component relationships need is vulnerability. Research shows that healthy relationships entail a balance of trust and safety from both partners. No matter how open you are about your life, if your partner hesitates to tell you their own personal details, you're receiving the short end of the stick. 8. They don't respond to your bids anymore. When you reach out to your partner for a connection, Dr. Gottman calls this a bid. For example, have you ever noticed something so eye-catching, like a good book or cute home accessory? You'd want to share the happy news with a loved one, right? But if your partner ignores you or tells you that they're too busy to look at it, they're being unresponsive towards your bid. This also means they don't accept your invitation to feel close. Do you think you're in a one-sided relationship? Want to learn about what a good relationship looks like? We also made a video on 12 signs you're in a healthy relationship, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching! Hi everyone! As you may have noticed, we don't post as often as we'd like anymore. We are low on funding, as our expenses are exceeding our revenue. However, we want to keep making more content that help people learn about psychology and mental health, so we want you to be a part of that process. Starting today, we will have a donate button underneath our videos. You've probably seen it in some of your favorite channels already. But if you don't see the button, we've included a link in the video description.
Our vision is to keep making psychology more accessible to everyone. We try to keep our videos concise and create open dialogues among the community. As a supporter, you will receive recognition for your support by having a cool Sci icon next to your username when you comment. This helps us recognize it's you and engage you more. On top of this, you will also receive a free copy of our Psych2Go ebook and occasional magazines every quarter. Just email in to myself when you've donated and I will send you the copies at tie at psych2go.net. However, even if you cannot support us financially, we still totally understand. You can help us out by sharing this video. We still love you and will give you a free ebook if you mail in to let us know. There is no fixed term or shady things like that. You can also cancel your support at any time too, so there is absolutely no risk. We promise to use your funding wisely and for creating new videos that can help others. Let's make psychology more accessible for everyone.